Kids spend an average of 84 minutes daily watching YouTube content, making the app the top video platform for this age group. In other words, kids' channels act as golden geese, hatching millions of dollars yearly. For instance, this channel attracts thousands of views each month and generates over $50,000 in monthly earnings. Even smaller channels can be appealing. Take this example, a channel that with just 22 published videos has already reached the $1,000 per month mark. I know you wonder how you can create such videos. Even if you don't have any prior video skills, AI is here to help to turn your ideas into videos, and I will show you how. Here a snippet from the video we'll make today. In the end of this video, you will be able to create such videos with AI. I'll start our video production by generating some ideas. For this, I'll use this prompt that's in front of me. As you can see in this prompt, I'm asking for content for kids that includes adventure, humor, and life lessons. At the same time, I want it to spark curiosity and encourage creativity as a concept. You can either use this exact prompt directly or tweak the bold words here to create a custom prompt for yourself. Now I'll take this prompt and generate some ideas. As you can see, it's produced the ideas. When we look at them one by one, it explains what kind of story each one offers. For example, it describes tiny finger-sized characters turning into household items and telling stories in a magical world, and it mentions the lessons they teach. Problem solving, teamwork, seeing potential in small things. It also says it'll add humor based on misunderstandings. This way, I'll review the other ideas and pick one. I liked the first idea here. Now I'll take this idea and ask it to create a video prompt based on it. As you can see, it prepared a pretty detailed prompt. And it felt a bit too long to me, so I'll ask it to summarize it a little. Yes, this version works. I'll take this info and create a video prompt now. As you can see, I turned the detailed prompt ChatGPT prepared into a shorter one and added how long I want the video to be at the start. Since this is a tutorial, I wrote one minute, but you can write 10 minute or 15 minute prompts depending on the desired length. Now, we'll move on to video production with this. Before we start video production, I'd like to talk a bit about the tool we'll be using. It's called InVideo. I discovered it recently and it's a really great tool. As you can see, it produces high quality videos like this. And its main feature is that it creates these videos based on prompts you provide. So you write short prompts, and it generates amazing videos for you. As you can see, it can produce videos in different formats. It could be a realistic format, a documentary style, or something more animation-focused. It allows you to create videos in various styles with features like the ability to change scenes or tweak just one prompt in a scene. In short, even if you've never had video-making skills before, this tool enables you to create videos. I also want to show you its ratings. As you can see here, it currently has over 25 million users across 190 countries. It's considered the number one product for prompt to video generation. You might know about rating systems that score quality. Well, it's got the highest scores in those too. That's the kind of tool it is. Finally, let me touch on its pricing. There's a free plan where you can try it out and create some videos. But if you want to work on more serious projects, it offers different pricing tiers. Let's dive into that in more detail at the end of the video. Now, back to production. I'm copying the prompt I prepared for video production and pasting it directly into the InVideo AI panel, then starting the production. Before generating the video, it asked me a few final details. Stock footage or AI-generated media. Animation? Yes, that's right, I'll leave it as is. Target audience? Kids? Yes, I'll leave that as is too. Platform, YouTube Shorts. I'm changing it to YouTube to make sure it's set that way. And with that, I start the production. The video is ready after 8 minutes. Now, without making any additions, meaning straight from its draft version, 
I am showing you how the video turned out. As you can see, characters are consistent, scenes look very good, and story with the pen is both fun and educational for kids. In video simplifies editing by offering flexibility. You can use prompts to make changes, such as switching the language to Spanish, or opt for a traditional approach by manually adjusting scenes and scripts through the editing interface. Of course, you can create scenes yourself, combine them, and make videos with other tools. But this tool allows you to do it much faster and with much higher quality. I'm leaving the link for you at the start of the description. You can try the tool for free, but to use generative media like in this video, you'll need a paid membership. Personally, I use one of the paid memberships, and I'm very satisfied with it. The pricing might seem a bit high to you, that's because these generative media tools are still new in the market and offer significant advantages. My advice is to gain experience with these tools now, so you can stay ahead of everyone else tomorrow. Now, let me tell you about how to create a thumbnail as a final step. You already have a video with some really great scenes, and my suggestion is to pick one of these scenes to make a thumbnail. For example, let me show you. Let's choose this scene. It really caught my eye, and I think I can use it. Exactly. I'll take this scene directly. I'll just make a few adjustments in Canva, and it'll be done. Ready. As you can see, I prepared a thumbnail in a very short time. After preparing your video in a thumbnail like this, you are ready to upload and publish. In this video, I introduced you to the concept called YouTube automation. If you found it helpful, drop a comment below. Your feedback really motivates me. Let me know what you found useful or any questions you have. And if you're eager to explore more, check out my other video on beginner-friendly YouTube ideas.